So let's talk about scatter and displace. So you have a lot of starter packs right here. So I'm just going to choose this chessboard to as an example. So I'm going to press OK and you'll be able to see the chessboard right here. I'm just going to move the camera a bit. I'm going to track the camera a bit uh, so you can see how what is going on. So inside the group, in the last lesson, we, we took a look at uh, the multi-object. So I'm going to go over here onto the particle look itself. I'm going to go on to multi-object and I'm going to enable multi-object right here, just like that. So you can see that there are two options for animation. That is one is displacement and another is scatter. So let's see the difference of this. So there's displacement X, Y, and Z, just um, three axes as you can see. So I'm just going to use displacement uh, X axis. So just click and drag this out and you can see that the displacement is actually very, very um, parallel to each other and they actually move uh, in relation to one another. So if I were to do displacement Y, you can see that now every, every piece actually moves according to their size and they're relative to each other as well. Same with the Z uh, displacement, you can see that I can scatter this around, I can even reverse this if I want to and so forth. You can see that displacement actually works in quite a proportional manner. Uh, another option that you have is scatter and scatter is kind of random. So if I were to go for scatter at X, you can see that now every pieces are moving in a random fashion. And scatter Y, random fashion, some pieces go up while the others go down. Same goes with scatter Z. So displacement is much more uniform as you can see, while scatter is much more random. You can also play with noise uh, over here noise amount and you can see that every piece is actually scatters around so you want a bit of a noisy type of animation like everything scattering around you can work with this as well so that is how you can work with scatter and displace inside of element 3d hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe